Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Just doing some videos after Renaissance, Renaissance Festival. You, you actually know what? I, I always thought they had that in Pioneer Village. Because I always thought they advertised that in Pioneer Village. I thought. Because I know 380 takes us right back into Xenia directly, I know. Yeah, this is definitely you know you know you know it's such it's such a stark contrast. How you have once you go about ten miles further north and northeast, it's flat as a pancake, but right here you got some hills right through here. Cause once you but 1836. 1836. Whoa, that's been as that's been around as long as some of the Catholic churches that have been around the region for that are real old men. Is that the original building? I wonder. Established right there. Yeah, there it looks like there used to be an old church farmhouse. That yellow one. Lived in. No. Yeah, can't really tell for sure, but it it doesn't look like anybody's there. I'm not even a, I'm too tired to even try that today. <clears throat> Way too tired for that today. Beautiful countryside out here in the Caesars Creek Valley. I bet that's 380 where that truck is coming from. You gotta go past, uh, past the highway, past the flea market. Oh, to get to 381? I didn't even know it was that far out. Because I think. Although you're not, although you're, although, although I'm sure you're tempted, but your stomach just ain't going to move for, you won't get hungry for a few hours anyways, if even then. Cardboard and vinyl. Isn't one of these properties were where they were going to build that casino. Did they ever build anything on it? Because you said it was right over. They were going to build or relocate Jesus Creek. Yeah. But I think, but I remember, oh, this gas station, it looks abandoned. Whoa, yeah. Nothing's in that one anymore. Interstate 71 below runs between Louisville and Cleveland and only goes through two states. Junction 380. This is still Warren County. You know, it's it's so easy to think this is Greene County right here. But it doesn't take long before we cross back into Greene County. Because I know it's not far from here before Warren County ends in the clip. Boy, that's another building that looks abandoned too. Man. Wonder what some of that was, man. And I didn't. Even... It, and then it keeps on going. More abandonment. Uh, three eighty. Oh, three eighty. South. Three eighty south. Hmm. 
road closed 12.7 miles ahead so and I know his horse their horse camp is right at the very northern boundary of Caesars Creek on the map Jeffersonville, was that Green County still or is that Fayette yeah. County? Fayette. Yeah, it's so hard to believe you're within like three or four counties right here. Warren right here, Clinton, we turn into Green. Not far over that way, you're into Fayette County. All within a very short little quadrant. I don't know if they haven't har harvested that corn or if it's already been picked yet or what. That's picked. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they haven't harvested it yet. They do it at different times. Wait yeah. for different people to come around with car buying. If a farmer had, uh, if a farmer had livestock, that that'd be the perfect area to go coyote hunting because the field is cleared. But I don't see too much livestock around here as far as cows or cattle. Just mainly corn and soybeans. Yeah, this is a stark difference from Fayette and that one part of Greene County where it's just dead flat. Sheep. Sheep. Oh, okay. Well, that right there would be a good reason to, to hunt coyotes right there because coyotes can kill sheep, I know. Wolves are more known to do that, but coyotes can too. Definitely don't see no Hillary Clinton signs out here. Clinton Kane. Although people would not be disrespectful enough to tear them out here like they would be in certain parts of Dayton or other areas. And vandalize here like they would in other areas, but... Oh, I seen a whole bunch of firewood in the park where there was a bunch of downed trees if somebody could get to it. If they had the equipment to haul it out of there, I'm sure the park would gladly, wouldn't have any problem with that at all. Where there was a bunch of storm damage I heard from a few months ago. Man, there was like so many downed trees like dominoes fell.
single wide trailer there. This, I don't think we crossed in back into Greene County yet, have we? Because I think a little tiny smidge of Caesars Creek is in Greene County, but I think I made a mistake when I thought before that some of Caesars Creek State Park was in Clinton County because it's Clinton County's too far east for it. Because I thought maybe because the park was so big that maybe a smidgen of it might have ventured into Clinton County. But maybe it does. I don't know. Woman for Trump. I know it's right before the Spring Valley Road or right around that area. Yeah, beautiful area out here. Very nice country area. Sun is setting real nicely. Not one cloud in the sky all day long today. I would think almost all these people are probably on well water out here. Don't imagine there'd be too much county water service here. But there's one clue you can always get an indication from if there is. If you don't see any fire hydrants, that's the surest clue that there's no county water service. You know, when there's no fire hydrants. Now, maybe if there was any little subdivisions here, there would be some of those, but Caesars Creek State Wildlife Area. Yeah, so we're right on the Caesars Creek bound again. Side of New Burlington. Enter Greene County, leave Clinton County. So yeah, part of this is in, part of Caesars Creek is in Greene County. So I think it's just the very northern tip of it. But we should be coming upon his, upon their horse camp any, any time though. Caesars Creek Wildlife Area, that's one of their hunting areas. I think it's real close to right here if I'm not mistaken. It's as I thought when I see it on Google Maps, it's right somewhere in this area. Because I know I know we're real close to it right now. Because I've looked at it on Google Maps. Six. Camp Jabez, yep, that is it. The 
look like the gates are open. But I guess there's a family that lives on the site to maintain it. Of course, they'd have to have somebody, a family, living there to maintain it. They couldn't maintain that from where they're at without somebody being on site. Spring Valley Painters Railroad, that may have been...